begin with my thread about the two thirds of the way up point. Um, I'm going to use a small bit of, this is a light done Zelon, kind of going for a translucent shut color. Stuff's fairly crinkly so I've, I've straightened it out a little bit by pulling on it. And I'm going to wrap that back just a little ways down the bend. I'm going to leave that for now just because it's out of the way. Back up to that point, I'm about two thirds of the way forward. I'm going to use a little bit of coastal deer hair. Comb out the under fur so I can stack that. I'm going to measure this about the length of the hook from the tips to where my fingers are. Tie that in at that same point and let that flare out a little bit. Holding the butt still, I'm going to clip that as close as I can. I've got a couple pieces of natural done CDC. These are going to be laid in with the wing tips matching up to the same length as the deer hair. And these are going to lay on top of the deer so eventually once I put this wing back up they'll be all blended together. Again cut those butts as close as you can. Um, the reason I tied this wing in first is that so I can go back, I'm going to have a buy-up body here, I'm going to go back with the thread, somewhat re-taper that body. So I'm going to use this thread as a base to build a nice taper, because that buy-up, you want a nice even um, body under it, because it'll tend to slip around a little bit. So I'm going to build somewhat of a taper back up towards the wing. And then take it back to where the shuck was. We use one turkey biot. Clip a little bit off the tip there, and I'm just going to get the tip of that and tie it in. Take that thread back up to behind the wing. I'm going to wrap this biot. The rib side will be covered, so I'm going to overlap that rib. Wrap this forward. Get just behind the wing, I can tie that off. Okay, so now I'm going to get that wing back to its upright position. So, like a compare done or sparkle done, I'm going to build a pretty good base of thread in front of the wing, and I will taper it back down to the eye. This will help your thread from slipping back over itself and a nice even base for your dub thorax so got that wing up got my hair where I want it to be I'm going to use some fine and dry dubbing to match whatever shade of olive I want this is kind of a neutral blue winged olive color I guess you'd call it Fairly sparse amount on here. I'm just going to pretty much use this to cover up those thread wraps because I've built a pretty good base of thread up already so I don't want to get it too thick. So a few wraps in front, a few in back. 
Then I'll do a bit of a crisscross to cover up that bottom portion. And I'll finish just behind the eye. And I'll go back and trim that shuck about half the length of the shank. 